So today uh, we are going to cover a familiar, actually, topic with you, uh, I believe, which is uh, projected media. Okay, projected media. What do we actually mean by projected media? Anyone? What is projected media? Using a projector to show the media. Exactly, Sharifa. Thank you. So it's, it's any media that we use a projection system. Okay. To project the media to our audience, our students. Okay. So any media that is actually, uh, we need to enlarge, we need to zoom, we need, for example, we have a very big audience in the hall, we need something big so that all the audience are able to see it. This is what we mean by projection uh, system. So the projected media can be used and, um, you know, there are some requirements when we use a projection or projected media the room needs to be um, equipped with whatever you know tools that we need to use for example the light of uh, the position of the lcd itself okay and uh, it actually meant to be for a big group it's not actually it doesn't make any sense if we use a projected media with a very big hall and we only have five students in the class okay so there are some of the requirements now for the projected media history, it's not something new, actually. It has starting, or it has started actually for maybe 40 or 50 years now. Uh, they have actually started, or maybe maybe 30, 35 years. The, the very, very first projected, let's say, tool or machine used uh used to call uh, used to call it something like overhead projection system have you ever he heard of it the overhead projection okay it's a very big actually uh device it's like you know the the printer that we the the, the huge printer that we we see in the uh workshop okay and there are some of some very complicated requirements when we actually use this device for example number one is um, it's not actually connected to a computer it's a device by itself so to be able to present using this overhead projection you need to prepare uh, the slides by yours by your own uh, the slides are actually papers you know a4 papers but it's not the material is not actually uh, the same as we use right now it's like transparent paper it's like you know a plastic material and then um, some of the requirements are you do not need to to write too much in the in the one slide maybe three or four lines only and your handwriting uh, yeah you can use your handwriting and there was actually printers only for this uh, you know purpose printing the, the transparent slides for uh, the overhead projection so you had actually the choice whether you print or you type by your own hand but either way you needed to be aware of the how much information in the slides okay uh, maybe three or four lines uh, you needed to be aware of the font size font color okay and then when you put this machine or this device inside the class you need you need to turn off every light in the class otherwise it's not going to be uh, you know presentable okay so and one more thing um, when you actually want to use this device you needed to reserve the device like two or three days before and then the security in the, in the, in the school will help you out to move it 
to your class because it's, it's kind of heavy. Okay, let me show you a picture of it. This is an, you know, cartoon animation of it. Uh, this is the device overhead projector and it usually comes with a trolley, you know, it, designed only for uh, the overhead projector. So it was actually kind of a problem <laughs> when you use it. Okay. So one more time, you needed to make sure every every lights is off. This yeah, like in my high school. Yes, uh, when I was a student, actually, um, some of my teachers used it. It was something big back then. We were like surprised about this technology and and so on. But now it's actually not relevant anymore. <clears throat> now we have. LCD projection system, you know, the size of a hand or maybe smaller. So, and and the preparation itself, when you actually prepare the slides, and then you find out there is a mistake while you present, you cannot actually uh, take it off or edit because it's going to go through a lot of, you know, steps to correct the slides. So it was kind of hard complicated process but it was actually uh, something new okay and then we have the all these we have like six or or, or nine maybe kind of uh, projection system okay and then finally we have this lcd liquid crystal display that we use nowadays okay and this is what i want you to to understand um, from the overhead projector to the LCD. This is the transparency uh, material that I uh, mentioned before. Okay, and this this projected uh, overhead projector was famous back in the 90s, 80s, okay. And as I mentioned, the first projected media to be used in a well lighted room okay and when actually some of the times if not all the times that our teachers used to use this overhead projector we would go and sleep because the room will be pitch dark nobody's watching unless this light the the, the light of the projector itself so it was not you, you know it was not really effective you know, very boring sometimes because you, you can see um, there's no activity. There's no two-way communication using this kind of device. The light is off and you can see the lines are written there. They could have actually written yeah, using their hand. And so there's no more, you know, there's no technology in it. There's no... Uh, something to encourage the students to be attracted the whole time, you know. So, yeah, this is the overhead projection system. And we, after they created the first one, they come out with different types. Uh, the desktop, the portable and visualizer, all the same philosophy, but the size and uh, how to carry the device, you know, was a bit different. All right. Now, we, using this kind of transparency, as I mentioned, you need to be aware of the color, the font, the size, okay? So here are some of the colors of how to use. This is not relevant anymore, just for your information, since you are actually taking educational technology course okay so from the beginning till now you need to understand how it went this far okay so it's obvious actually to um, use even in, in your presentation guys this is like something very useful when you prepare for your presentation make sure it's it's not crowded with so many images so many colors uh, make sure it's two colors at maximum the background is one color the fonts one color okay so that the the audience will not be distracted 
we will not be like you know okay what is this you know and it's called powerpoint actually for a reason you you all of us can read okay all of us can read so you do not copy and paste whatever you find information about this whatever you want to explain about instead make a powerpoint points you know powerpoints the headlines only and then you can explain by yourself i've seen students you know they just copy and paste maybe 200 words in one slides and they will start the presentation okay today i want to present about whatever blah 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 all oh, the whole the whole slides nobody will be listening instead they will be looking at the presenter oh god i will just want him to finish okay this is not a good way to present wherever you go during your uh, study when you finish for the interview uh, your job interview whatever do not do that at all it's it's something very bad and it will give a very bad impression about your personality you need to take your time you know prepare yourself just put some points to remind you about the topic that you are going to present that's it do not copy and paste yeah this is the machine that or the device that they use to actually prepare the transparency for the overhead projected it's like you know a printer but um with different materials as i mentioned it's like a plastic you know it's called thermofax transparency markers or you can actually write by your own, by your hands on the slide but you need to go through the same rules no much uh, not not much information in one slide uh, not many lines maybe four or five lines so that the audience will be able to see it okay this is what i was talking about the design principle it's not only for the transparent or the slides it's it's for everything that you that consider to be a projected material okay or projected media you need to consider the the uh sorry the font the color the background uh do not use so many pictures do not use so many sound effects uh if you have a pointer it's it's better to use a pointer uh always <clears throat> trust yourself nobody has has actually uh, if you believe in this you will not find presentation uh, hard anymore always make sure that this is your topic and you have prepared for it you prepare yourself you've got all the information needed so no nobody in the audience actually knows whatever information you know you are the expert if you have this philosophy in mind when you go to presentation you will find it actually fun you will find it enjoyable to do but if you actually have a lack of confidence and you tell you keep telling yourself okay everybody knows about what i'm i'm telling them it's not going to be uh, you know a good start for you so always remember that nobody knows the much information that you know because you prepared for this topic you you know everything about it okay so you are the expert and here are the sides slide design the font the font type this kind of information guys it's very tricky you need to um, be careful when reading these kind of slides because it's actually um, the position where you get questions in the final the font type the size okay it's very important information so the very f famous font type is uh, whether it's this one uh, sans serif or whatever the time times a new roman very important and you need to understand the color contrast okay and here are some of the examples black 
on yellow is very good but red on blue for example it's not good to use it's very poor okay so these are three categories of how to use colors this is the best fair and then poor poor we mean do not use it okay it's not something that um, recommended for the presentation same goes to the background background is very very important guys i've seen students they use their own pictures as a background nobody can read everything from the uh the slides okay do not do that avoid using you know colorful background it's better if you go with you know a plain background or very light very light colors so that the the audience will not be distracted okay so all this information about the slide design how to present the presentation it's important in this course but it's more important for you as a presenter in the future and always remember this saying uh, actually one of my professor had taught me this saying before I go to my uh, PhD Viva the Viva is where you actually uh, present your PhD after three years or four years of work you need to present it in 20 minutes okay this is very very serious okay because <clears throat> depending on this presentation you will you will get to pass or you fail so he told me uh, this saying that was good presenter bad thesis will pass good thesis bad presenter will fail and you can understand how you know how much the presentation skills is important it's not only for the class it's not only for you as a teacher it actually your future depends on it sometimes when you go for a job interview or something you need to be self-confidence nobody else you know has whatever information that i have about this topic and let it be you know just talk we are teachers we talk we are we actually get paid by talking <laughs> so make sure you are good when we when you actually present or you talk about something always remember this thing it helped me a lot okay now this part of the projected media where we discuss about the projection screen now each projection system needs a projection screen which is the background of whatever we are actually projected you know and th th this information is um it's not actually your job as a teacher to know or to do but you need to get some information about it you know you need to understand what is for example white screen glass bedded screen uh, silver surface screen okay you need to be able to dis to differentiate between these types and you need to understand the best position of this screen okay this is for example some of the pictures where the uh, screen should be you know located in the classroom and when we talk about the location of the screen we talk about so many uh, let's say requirements okay for example how much the class is how many students do you have how big uh, how for example how much space do you have in the classroom how many audience and so on and these are example of the uh, mate screen glass bedded and so on okay now in this slide which one do you prefer and why let me hear from you guys which one do you prefer first one okay i prefer the first one okay why 
Why do you guys prefer the first one? First one, okay. Loose. Because of uh, the seating arrangement, uh, like students look directly at the screen. They don't need to move their heads. Exactly, exactly. That's the point. The students will not be, they will not be, you know, moving their head around to make sure they, they see everything. And it's high, so uh, you have short students, you have tall students. They will, all of them will be able to see it, okay? So the position of the screen is very, very important. Uh, make sure do not, um, you know, make your students, you know, tired of the class so that they will be turning their, he their head or looking very up or looking down. But some of the students will be standing because um, maybe some of the students are short, so, and they're sitting in the back. <clears throat> so all these kind of, you know, factors let's say you need to be aware of okay this is about the placement of the projector all these images <coughs> are more to clarify about the position or the location of the uh, screen Okay, this is supposed to be the uh, take-home discussion, but I'm not actually going to post this, okay? Mm -hmm. Because we are going to go for another topic. So, do you guys have any question so far for the projected media before we go on to the second topic? Any questions? Please go ahead. Any questions?